guys, today I'll be doing a review on this Ameriglo EMS Claw uh, Night Sights. And uh, I believe this is a partnership between Ameriglo and Ice Training. Um, Ice Training, uh, maybe heard of it. Um, I believe Rob Pincus is involved with the Ice Training. Um, but uh, let me give you a close look at it. Uh, this night sight has tr tritium in on the front sight. It has that uh, that's neon yellow ring and that, that center dot you see, or the center circle, small circle there is, is the actual tritium part. But uh, it looks kind of small, but in the low light situation, it's actually pretty bright, like your typical tritium uh, night sights. So, um, and then uh, the back side is uh, just blacked out. Just want to give you a close look at it. And there's the claw. That's that's why it's called a claw. And this uh, side was designed to uh, to rack the slide one-handed one-handed manipulation um, against, I don't know, your boot. Most likely people are going to use it against their belt. There's a belt. Like that. So if you're wearing this belt, you want to come down and just rack it like that. Now, I'm not going to do it because I tried doing it on the camera and I was like knocking over camera and all kinds of stuff, but you know. You know how that works. And I noticed this versus like other sites, like say my Glock uh, sites or one of those ones that are more flat here, you can still uh, rack your slide against your belt or whatnot. But I noticed that with those, you have to have you have to really press against the belt or whatever you're racking off of. You have to put pressure that way um, towards the belt and then come down and rack the slide. But I, I noticed with this claw because there is that. I guess let's just call it the claw. It kind of see. There's that little. It kind of. It doesn't go straight up. It kind of goes like that. So, um, it, I noticed that uh, I don't have to put so much pressure in towards the belt. I could just come straight down, and it'll still catch. And that's what it's designed for. But it's not so much that it's gonna catch on anything. I'm not. I've, had this sight on my uh, firearm for, I don't know, months, several months, I don't know, I had it for a while, and um, I've worn it uh, as my CCW handgun almost every day, um, and I've never had an issue of this getting caught or anything, catching on anything, so um, I think it's a well-designed, well-made sight. Want to give you guys a close look at it because when I was trying to get this side, I, I really wanted like a close look at it, see what it looks like. Um, I think Rob Pincus does a good video where he's actually like showing uh, the use on it, like racking it and all that against his belt. Um, but this is more like a tabletop review, very close look. Let's see what you. And also, I want to share my experience with it. So there's here's a couple things. If you have um, now, they make this um, sights for numerous number of handguns. I mean, or pistols. You know, you name it, they probably make it. Um, I know they make it for Glock for sure. Just all the popular hand, uh, pistols, I, I believe they make uh, this this um, sights for, and you can find it on. Um, Ameriglo website, or I believe they also sell it, sell it on ICE, ICE, ICE training, ICE, I, period, ICE training um, website as well. But um, and you can find it on Amazon also. Also, but uh, last time I checked, I couldn't find one for the shield on Amazon. I found ones for Glock, but uh, I wasn't searching that hard.
I got mine directly from Amerigolo. And, um... Look at the front side again. Anyways, so um, the thing about the site, and uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show it. Ah, let's see, that's, that's not even show right. The site picture. Let's see. Yeah, I thought that might happen. So okay, if you have the um, the regular MMP shield, just on the sh on the sh shield. From my experiences with the sight, um, and it may be the same thing with other handguns like Ruger SR9, the ones that have the uh, the loaded chamber indicator. Now, if you have those um, non-compliant handguns, um, basically non-California versions without the loaded chamber indicator, no problems at all. This that picture is going to be perfect. You're going to have a little notch there and then uh, the circle is going to sit right in there and you get that perfect side picture. However, I got snap cap here or dummy rounds. If you have the compliant version with the loaded chamber indicator, there's going to be a slight obstruction. So let me show you what I'm talking about guys. Then. So here's the rear sight. And then if you have the, uh, like I said, if I had the, the shield without the loaded chamber indicator, you're going to get a perfect circle there, like how you're supposed to, no problem. However, if you have, here, let me draw it bigger. If you have the, the loaded chamber indicator sticking out like that, I noticed that it obstructs the obstruct the bottom of the the front sight a little bit. So here's your circle, and then once you rack the slide, and the loaded chamber indicator sticks up, now you're getting one of these things. That's the loaded chamber indicator coming up and sticking up. Okay, so now, um, but then I will say this, my, from my sharing experiences, I actually like it. I know it sounds pretty crazy, but if you train yourself not to see the circle and you see this little thing, it actually helps because what it does for me is that when you're focusing on the front side, if, I, if I'm just looking at the circle and I see this, like with the little thing cut off, I know this is lined up. I don't even have to, you know. I just gotta worry about the, the size here, if you know what I mean. So it doesn't really bother me. And then the other thing is, um, you know, this is a, a concealed carry gun. This is one of the self-defense uh, situation kind of gun. You know, if you take any training, you know, you know that, you know, they always tell you that uh, when you're under high stress and most likely the kind of situation you're gonna get in, it's not gonna be some kind of, you know, target shooting, precision shooting, or, or you know, hostage situation kind of thing. It's going to be more like self-defense. Everything's happening fast. Um, you're going to pretty much point and shoot. And if it's a low-light situation, you're going to definitely be able to pick out the front sight. So you're going to basically point and shoot, or you're going to, you're going to pretty much focus in on just the front sight. Uh, you may not even line it up with the rear sight. You're just going to, you know, focus on the front sight and, and, you know, fire and and uh, shoot that way. So, uh, yeah, at the range, if you're at the range, you know, you want to make a decent group and you want to make, sh make shots, um, you obviously are going to get this picture, but like I said, if, you, if you're just in a self-defense situation and you're shooting away, you're not going to have time to like line this up perfectly, so it doesn't really matter anyways. And like I said, I kind of liked it because when I was shooting, you know, when I'm trying to shoot precise, you know, precisely and make good groups you know you're focusing on the front side and you're trying to align equally here and here and also you want to make sure this is lined up on top but because I see this um, I know that the top is lined up and what I mean is let me show you 
if I see this, let me see if I can. If I see a perfect circle, circle sitting on top of there, I know that I'm aiming high because now this isn't lined up. You know what I mean? But if I see one of these, if I'm just focusing on the front side and I see one of these, like circle with the thing cut off, then I know this is lined up perfectly and I'm not aiming high or low. And that's just my experience. That's just my thing. You know what I mean? So if you're used to just seeing this picture, you're fine. And uh, so yeah, I like these sites a lot. Um, uh, they run anywhere between, as of today, um, they're on, uh, I didn't get this today, but I checked today what the price were and, and they haven't changed since I got it. Um, they run anywhere between, depending on the gun, firearm, depending where, you know, where you find it, depending what kind of deals you get. Uh, you could probably find, uh, now they do sell this separately, but for the set, for the front and the uh, front and the rear sight, the claw sights, um, anywhere between 50 to, 50 to 80. I would say, depending on where you find it. And like I said, they do sell these separately. If you, if you have a front side and you think it's going to work with the rear side and you just want to get the rear claw sides, that'd be great. You could do that. And uh, I, I can't find the packaging anywhere, but they pretty much come in one of these, uh, obviously with the Ameriglo, um, you know, writings and paper or whatnot on here, but they come in a package like this in a clear plastic. So, yeah, um, I wish I could show you the, uh, in the dark, how, how, or in the low light situation, how well it glows. I tried it, but it didn't come out very well, so I was not going to bother trying. But I will say this, like, compared to my other night sides, it's about the same. I mean, I wouldn't say it's like super bright or, you know, a lot more, it glows more or anything like that, or glows less, it's about the same. But anyways, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, please leave, leave below. Thanks for watching, guys.